This video is going to be kind of lengthy, but let me tell you, if you can get through this video, you'll be you'll have your first customer in the next 24 hours. That's what I can guarantee. So if you're watching this, you are either a marketing agency, you own a social media management company, one of those things, right? And I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can find your next customer using 10 methods. I'm going to show you guys 10 ways to find customers, okay? But not only that, I'll show you guys how to do an outreach. I'll give you all the templates. I'll show you guys how to do price negotiation. I'll show you guys how to close the, you know, on the actual phone call and the entire thing. So this video is pretty much a course on how to get your first customer as a marketing agency. If you already have an agency, this video might be, uh, you know, a, a fuel to your fire. So watch this video. So let's get started by getting on my laptop. Okay, so welcome to the actual course here. So let's go and start. So uh, this is what we will be covering today. So we'll be covering the introduction. I'm gonna show you guys, like I promised you, 10 ways to find customers. So like I said, if you're brand new to marketing agency, this is gonna be like a gold mine of information for you. So that's, that's, that's the best part. And if you already have an agency, I'm gonna show you some other ways to go ahead and you know get more customers. And some of these things you might not even know. So don't skip okay we'll talk about the power of personalizing the you know the outreach we're going to talk about you know cold outreach i'm going to give you all these cold outreach actually here okay i'm going to, go and give it to you and then the second thing is we're going to go and talk about how to craft your follow-ups okay so people go go ahead and you know you do your outreach but you never do your follow up okay if you don't do follow up you'll miss out on deals okay so that's that we'll go and talk about pricing and negotiation strategies then we'll go and talk about how to close your first client on like a meeting or zoom or a phone call okay i'm really good with people on the phone and i think you'll see that when you you know uh, when, when you go through this and last but not least is after the close so once you have closed your client okay most people they can't even keep a client for like two months okay so that's not good right because you want to be able to get clients and you want to be able to keep your existing client retention you don't want to you know you don't want to you want to make sure you're not churning your customers okay so let's go and start so i'm satish gear from dallas texas and we have an agency here in dallas texas we do pretty much everything so we're a team of about, about 70 people and we have a team in romania and here in dallas so we do ppc marketing we do copywriting funnels you know email marketing you name it and we do it okay we also run political campaigns for you know candidates we do pretty much everything dentists lawyers you know funnel builder marketers SaaS, everything we pretty much do everything now so before we start, let's go ahead. I, I just want to go ahead and talk you talk to you about this. So my biggest lesson from going from like you know nothing to making like 100k a day is three things. Okay, three things. Okay, number one is every single morning. Okay, even though I have VAs who take care of this for me. Okay, every single morning I still do my client hunting. What does that mean? So every morning I hunt for my dream customer. So it doesn't matter like you know my schedule whatever i do this like every single day okay and the second thing is this okay no matter how much money you make you should still be hunting now why do i say that okay a lot of you guys what's going to happen with you i know it already because it's happened with me right what's going to happen with you is you're not making money and you you need to start making money okay and then you you get too comfortable Okay, you think, hey, I'm making money. I don't need to work anymore. And you, it just starts falling apart. So you don't want to do that because, you know, that's just a recipe for disaster. And this is not just you. It, it has happened with me. It's happened with so many people. So what I can tell you is that no matter how much you end up making per day, per month, okay, you need to be hustling for 90 minutes, 90 minutes every single day i don't care okay i don't care you know whatever comes up you need to be hustling for at least 90 minutes you need to find customers so if you do what i'm about to show you every single day for 90 day and 90 minutes okay every single day for 30 days you can come back to this video and, and just like it okay because because if you do it you will have customers okay so and last but not least is this like my biggest lesson is even on the days I feel like ah, I don't want to do it, I do it. 
even though I have VAs doing this for me, okay, without me even getting up, but I do it every single day, okay, and I want you to do it as well. So that's the intro. Now let's go ahead and start. So now, how do you actually find customer for your marketing agency? So I don't care what you sell. You might be selling, you know, um, social media management, or you might be selling um, PPC, copywriting, funnels. I don't care, okay? Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption, but if you're watching this video so you so far, you're on the right track. But you know, go ahead and help me out by you know commenting on this video and liking it. And if you if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now. Let's get back on the video. You can find customers using these things. Okay, so let me show you. So um, what I'd like to call is push and pull marketing. So outbound and inbound. That's it's the same thing. So push outbound meaning you're actually reaching out to people. And what you want to do is inbound, okay? So I'm going to teach you both of these things, okay? So I'm going to show you these 10 ways. So first is ads on Google, okay? So you're going to get on Google, okay? And then straight up, make sure you're using incognito. You're going to, it's going to type up lawyers near me, okay? That's all you'll do, okay? Make sure you have your ad turned on, okay? And what you need to do is, you know, these top people, they're paying money on Google, right? These people, they're paying money, okay? What you want to do is you want to reach out to them. The reason for that is because they already understand the value of having a marketer, okay? They already understand the value of, you know, doing marketing, okay? What you do is add some extra point. So most of these people, they're going to have a nice website, most of them, okay? But what they won't have is funnels. They won't have like automated emails. They might not be running ads everywhere, right? They might not have retargeting on, okay? They might not have social media. So you need to go ahead and make a list of these customer, go to their profile, okay? And make a list. I'll show you how to do an outreach in a bit, but this is, this is a really good way to find customers, okay? So what you can do is just type up, you know, nail salons, okay? Like this and make a list, okay? And then once you find a company, what you need to, next up, what you can do is you can get on LinkedIn and search up like, you know, CEO or the owner of Empress Nails or CEO of like, you know, ABCD Law Firm. You find those people there, okay? And then from there, you can reach out to them. If you can't find them, what you need to do is go to their website. For example, let's go back, okay? For example here, okay? We can go to meet the attorneys. You want to find people that are the owners and the management. Let's say, for example, C is probably the owner because that's her name here. But as you can see, their site is not even secured. So that could be like an extra 500 bucks in your pockets if, you, if you're not doing, you know, see? See, I, we found one already. So these people are running ads, but they got sites like these, not secure. It looks very, very sketchy, right, For especially for a lawyer, okay? Imagine people submitting their, you know, information here, okay? So let's say you want to reach out to her, right? So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do, copy her name. Let's go to LinkedIn. We're going to go and search her up, okay? Now, that's the first way to do it, okay? Okay, and once you go ahead and find her, you can click on her name, and you might want to connect with her. And the, the, way, the best way to connect with people is click on like this, I don't know. Don't say you want to go and fix this. Just say, hey. I said, don't say sir, ma'am, or all that stuff. Don't. Sh so idea is you don't want to, you don't want to, you know. So whenever you have this conversation with, with these people, with these businesses, you don't want them to be, you know, uh, you know, they don't, you don't want them to think that you are inferior. You want to be the superior. You want to have the upper hand. And how do you do that? You do that by treating them like, you know, that's how they are. Okay. A lot of people make this mistake, but they're like, oh, thank you, sir. Blah, blah. I don't do that. Okay. I've never done that. And that has helped me because the moment you do that, they're going to run all over you. Okay. You are doing them a favor right? You're doing them a favor by helping them, okay? So you, you need to have an upper hand from day one, okay? Hey, that's it, okay? Simple as that. Now, next up, let's click on contact information, okay? We don't have our email here. So next up, what you can do is con click contact us, and then there we go. We have her email here, right? Now, that's probably not her personal email. It might be like a, you know, um, 
the, the receptionist and things like that. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy this email and email us. Hey, can I get Holly's email? That's, that's what you do. So let's move on. So you got that. Now, next up is Facebook ads library. Okay. So what you need to do is so Facebook ads live. So Facebook actually has uh, Facebook ad library. Facebook actually has library like this. Let's go here, right? You come up here, select your country, select this. And this is also a really good way to find what ads are working, but I'm gonna show you how to find customers with it. So you go here, right? Let's say you, you wanna work with, I don't know, lawyers. Okay. Like this. Okay, take a look at this, okay? Click on this, more advertising. Most of these people might, be running ads or they might not be running ads what i like to do is take a look at if they have a decent followers let's click on this they're not running ads. oh they are running ads okay so that's perfect okay let's go ahead and click on this their link okay they're running into a spanish market is there anything that we can fix them i don't know the i don't know me hablar poquito espanol so i don't know i can't help much but let's try oh this might be a spanish law firm that's why okay let's find somebody else who <laughs> that i can um, all okay <clears throat> let's try these people did we try this already i think oh that's the same one okay Uh, we, we haven't done this one, right? Okay. I think this is for like a uh, school, right? So, but you get the idea. You need to find ads, people running ads, for example, like this, right? <laughs> or like, you know, funnels, right? Marketing. Okay. You need to find these people, right? And then take a look at their ad, see what you can do for them and reach out to them. And I'll show you how to reach out. So this is second way of finding customers, okay? The reason I taught you these two things is because these people are already spending money, right? And it's super easy to get people to buy your products, your stuff. Let's say you do social media, right? So you can do these things and reach out to them and say, hey, you know, I would love to help manage your Instagram because it's, it's been inactive, right? Next one is Instagram hashtag. So let's go ahead and get on Instagram. And I guess this is a shameless plug for you guys to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> you don't have to, guys. Uh, let's see who slid into my DMs. Uh, nobody. Nobody does. So let's go here. Click on hashtags, right? So from hashtags, what you can do is this. Let me explain. So boss lady, a lot of women, they want to be boss lady. They will put it out there for you. Like this, okay? okay. And one more thing, guys, okay? Uh, if you are on desktop, you can't see all the posts. If you're on mobile phone, your phone, you will see all the posts, okay? Find these ladies who want to be boss lady, okay? Or entrepreneur. Okay? Like I said, you know, you won't be able to you see the all the posts here, but it's like that. Um See, all of these people own small business and you can reach out to them and see the first, see, you can find customers like this too, okay? And again, I'll show you guys how to DM them later in a bit. So that's number three. Now, fourth is LinkedIn outreach. I think you guys know this, but I'll cover it anyway. So again, on LinkedIn, what you need to do is you need to reach out to people and then you can reach out to people by just typing in, let's say, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, like you know whatever you whatever you sell for example dentist okay like this and then you want to go ahead and click on people so you want to reach out to people like this and whenever you're reaching out right you want to click on something like this okay like to something like this. So make sure like, you know, make them curious. Don't like give away what you're doing. Okay. Like this simple. Okay. 
next one is through Google Maps. Um, so here, this one, this is what I do. I go to Google Maps, and then I click on like this, and then I type up, you know, dentist. Okay, and then. Pretty much people with good reviews, I start like people with like good, like more reviews. I start contacting them by looking on their site like this. Okay. I don't like to contact fran franchises because, you know, it's not, it's just not worth our time because they already have their marketing stuff in place or they're working with somebody. So I don't want to work with those people. But if they're not like franchise, go for it. Okay. Now, next up is Yelp and Craigslist. Now on Yelp, what you can do is you, you can come up here. Let's say you want to you wanna work with tattoo shops, okay? Okay. You can see people, some, sometimes you'll see sponsored ad on the top. You don't see, oh, you, you, I, I, I don't think I see, oh, there's none. Oh, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and unblock my ad. See if, oh, there we go. Okay, so these people are actually running ads. So these are these would be good people to contact too. Like this, and as you can see, you can go to their website. You can take a look at their information, and then you can reach out to them. Okay, and the Craigslist. So Dallas Craigslist. Let's go here. And on here, what you want to do is you want to go to services, right? And you just want to go and take a look at people because a lot of these people, <clears throat> a lot of these people are like, you know, this is a cheap way to market, but you'll find some golden nuggets here. Like don't contract, you know, contact like, you know, Jose Concrete, things like that. Okay. Uh, find people who are like lawyers, CPAs, that kind of stuff. They will, that will get you, uh, that will get you <clears throat> like this guy, text him. You see what I mean, right? This guy is like paying money every single day to post these. You see what I mean? You can do this. This guy is like, yeah, contact him. See. Okay. And then one of the really cool ways to find customer if you want to promote a realtor so you, is you can go to realtor.com. Click on find realtor. Type up 75034 search okay and guess what all of these people that you can um, reach out to right highest rating this is their personal cell phone so if you have something to sell to realtors you can for example social media management right photography right ppc ads lead generation you can do it with them so this is like a really really good way to make extra money and then there's so many these are like this is like people's uh, personal phone number okay you don't even have to email just text them okay so those were seven outbound what you need to do for you to get clients okay now let's go and talk about inbound your pool you want to go and attract people into your you know your 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 agency so how do you go how do you go about that so let's go and close this out okay so what you need to do is uh hero facebook groups and youtube videos so hero is it's a site here that you can register at and this site you can register as a source right and the reason I want you to do that is because this company will send you an email every single day. Okay, it will send you an email like morning, afternoon, and in the evening asking like, you know, people. So journalists will ask questions and you're going to get an email. And if you can respond back to that as fast as you can with a good answer, guess what? You're going to be you're going to be featured on Entrepreneur, Forbes.com, and things like that. Now, why do you want that? You want that because, um, you know, when people are looking for, you know, things to buy, when they see your read your article, that article, right, they see your name, they might contact you, okay? So every time I get a client from like, you know, hey, I read your article on Forbes, I, I ain't not going to charge them a high fee, okay? They know that I'm a leader. I know they know that I'm the top game on that industry. Does that make sense? Let me show you an example of the email. Okay, so this is the email. So take a look at this. Okay, I get these emails like every day and I don't, I, I watch it because take a look, I, I like the tech ones, okay? So take a look at this, okay? These big companies, marketing companies, look, take a look at all these things, okay? Okay, 
So somebody's asking a question about this in motion is like a top, top, top level hosting company, right? You can, you just need to respond back to this question and guess what? Okay. You might be featured on in motion, which gets like millions of traffic. Okay. You see what I mean? Let's go back here. And then second thing, okay. Now number nine is Facebook group. So what I want you to do is get on Facebook, obviously, right? And then join groups related to marketing and, you know, selling and things like that, okay? And then next up, what you need to do is start commenting, start helping people out, okay? So let me give you an example. So click funnels, okay? Okay, I go here, okay, of course, they don't allow self-promotion, but guess what? I can go ahead and comment and make really nice comments. And guess what? Those people will come to you. So you want to go and be helpful to people. So the more helpful you are, you're going to attract so many people because somebody is asking a question, you answer back. So many people see that answer, they will reach out to you. Does that make sense? So let's go back. Okay. And last but not least is making videos. Okay. So make YouTube videos, TikToks, okay? TikToks, uh, shorts. And then, you know, once you make these videos, like the video I'm making right now, this video is also a form of marketing because guess what? I'm giving you guys value, right? And if some of you guys here has like, hey, you know, I want to work with Satish, you guys will reach out to me. I know that, okay? And what's happening is I'm giving you all the value I can without asking you for money, okay? And when you do that, people feel obligated to, you know, hey, you know, maybe I want to work with this guy. That's how so start creating videos, TikToks, shorts, and reels like that, okay? So every single morning, you need to do at least pick one and do that for like a week. Next day, do something else, okay? Or you can switch or you can do like, you know, let's say you want to find, you want to contact 10 people and you might want to do like seven of these today and then maybe three of these like next, you know, week. Does that make sense? Now, what I want you guys to do is use Notion, Trello, or any CRM to use like Kanban style. So let me show you what Kanban is. I don't want to show you my Kanban because it might have stuff that I don't want you to see. Like this, okay? And to your ELL. Trello is a really cool uh, software. Uh, okay, and there you go. I don't know if I still have my logins. I might. And the reason I want you to do that is because that's going to keep you on track on whatever you're working on, okay? So create your, like, in a workspace, right? And then, for example, let's go create, right? Create a board. Outreach. Okay. Like this. Okay. And then you see, like, this, 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 okay? Reach out, reach out, reach out. You So you can use something like this to keep you on track. Okay, yeah. So what I want you to do is create like lead, contact, follow up, one, two, no response, response, converted, lost, or that, okay? Make sure to try to contact name, email, and phone number, okay? And if you have an autoresponder like content, Constant Contact or Aweber, start adding those leads there and start sending them, you know, nurture an email, okay? Now, next up, power of personalization. Now, here's the thing, okay? So if you're just going to send out like mass same copy paste email to everybody, guess what? It's not going to be effective because people will smell that it's a canned response. Okay. So what I want you to do is whenever you reach out to people, take a look at their stuff. Okay. Take a look at their social media. Okay. And, and you know, what, what you can do is on that personalized email or DM, you need to include you know, some sort of, you know, uh, some sort of information about their social media bio that you want to help out with, something to drive more conversion, okay? What you want to do is you want to level them up, meaning you want to go ahead and help them, you know, do better, okay? Now, what you can also do is this, okay? So text them, okay? What I also like to do is use Loom, okay? Loom. This is the one where you can record your face like this video right here. I use Vimeo. It's a paid one, and Loom has a paid one too. Um, they're both the same thing, guys. Um, and then use that to like say, hey, you know, uh, I just checked out your site. I don't, I don't think you have this, this, this. Just say because people like when they see a face, okay. And you know, you have to give them real value, okay. You can also use a product called Video Message. I'll put the link on the description. Okay, this is a really cool product that you can use to send out like you know these messages. And uh, yeah, you can send it through social media, all that stuff. I love this. Okay, get this. 
I also use a product called directcontact.io. This product is, of course, it's, it's owned by one of our companies. Uh, the system allows you to send out emails, like, you know, cold emails, like automatically, okay? It has like leads, cold calling, SS marketing. So you want to check it out, you can if you want to, okay? But the point is, I want to drive home is that make sure that if you're just sending out mass like canned response, you can, you land customers, but you know, it's better to spend time to like, you know, contact 10 people than like 100 without like, you know, any like anything on them. Okay. So cold outreach. So how do you do cold outreach? Let me explain. So, okay. So cold outreach usually has three aspects to it. So number one is the open rate if it's an email. So the, to, to get people to open up their, uh, you know, email or like things like that, okay? And then the second thing is click through rate or response rate. Are they going to respond back to you, okay? And last but not least is how many of those people can you convert to like real paying customer, okay? Now, to get an open rate up, what you need to do is your, your subject line has to be kind of vague, but curious to get them to open. Like for example, what I do is like, you know, hey, regarding your business, okay? Or like if I'm DMing some, I say, you know, I, on my first line is regarding your business. I put something specific on my first line of message because I can't put a subject line on it like a DM or a Facebook message, okay? The first line that they will see is, gonna, that's my subject line, if that makes sense, okay? Second thing, okay, you click through rate, your uh, your response, okay? So uh, here is the thing, okay? If you want people to click on a booking booking meeting or things like that, what you want to do is you, you just want to get them to respond back to something saying yes or, hey, I want to learn more or like, you know, something, okay? That's the call to action. That's the response you want, okay? So I'll give you the script, but, you know, the 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 five rules that I, want, that I want you to follow to have a good cold outreach is it has to be short and sweet. Nobody has time to read like a lengthy email. One of my friends, Nicholas Lal, oh God, he sends me like whenever he's emailing, it's like an essay, okay? Uh, I'm like, ah, I snooze. I'll, I'll read it like you know, whenever I'm like not busy. Personalized, okay? Use their first name. Uh, use, you know, use something, you know, that you found out about them through their Instagram, their Facebook, their LinkedIn. Okay. What you also want to do is you want to include some sort of social proof or, Hey, you know, I'm, I've been referred by, you know, blah, blah, blah. I I've worked with X, Y, Z person as well in your industry. Okay. And make sure to add some sort of value. Okay. That you want to give to them. Last but not least is you have to have a clear call to what do you want them to do? Book a meeting, respond back to them, something that you want them to do. That's the call to action that you need to have at the end of your every single outreach. Okay. And you need to outreach through LinkedIn, Instagram, email, and text. Let me show you. So here's how you do. So first thing is once you find a lead, you need to build some rapid, right? <laughs> can't, I can't pronounce rapid, uh, report or some, whatever. <clears throat> so what you need to do is go to their Facebook, Instagram, like their post, okay, comment, hey, say fire, you know, respond to their stories and things like that, okay? The reason for that is before they, you know, because you want to do that so they know, hey, somebody's like responding to my stories, my commenting and things. So they will see your name. So whenever they see your first email, they'll be like, hey, what is this guy doing? So first outreach is like, hey, you know, regarding your business, hey, are you still the owner of this company? The idea here is a lot of people make mistakes. Okay. They will try to sell you your stuff on the first email. Don't do that, okay? Your first outreach has to be something where they you just want a response back. That's it. You don't want any. All you want is a response. That's all you want, okay? Are you the owner of the company? Hey, are you still in business? Get them to respond back. Make sense? Next up, second outreach is this, okay? Now, this is, thanks for getting back to me, okay? I'm a social media manager located in Dallas. I've helped blah, blah, you, you know, you'll get the idea. I'll give you a copy of this on description, okay? Most of my customers have seen it in sale, in sales increase by up to 17% after working with me, okay? Now, this is the part that has to be customized and personalized, okay? This is the part, you'll say, hey, I was on your Instagram and I saw that, you know, hey, you have a low engagement rate. I can fix it like this, X, Y, Z give them real value okay a lot of people what they do is like oh I'll, I'll tell you about something if you if we get on a call don't do that okay if you can give them a tip give that tip and then say hey i would love to get on a call and talk to you more about this hey you can fix this like this 
and I, and I would love to give, don't say, hey, you know, get on a call and I'll tell you, that's just not good, okay? And last but not least is, you know, you want to say, hey, you know, when would be the best time to for a quick Zoom call? Just give them a date. Like people say, just this, okay? Don't do that. Say, it's Wednesday at 11 a.m. So that way they'll say, hey, that doesn't work for me. Will this? So you're giving them opportunity to reach out to you, okay? Now, if they don't respond back, you're going to say, is something wrong? I didn't hear back from me. Is everything okay? I'm a social media, blah, blah, blah. Same stuff, same stuff. There you go. You see what I mean, okay? There we go. Now, that's how you reach out to people. Now, now you need to do some follow-ups because the reason you want to do follow-ups is because, you know, see, you, you reach out and the people are busy, okay? Sometimes it's not right for them, okay? You if How can people buy from you if they have not even heard what you want to sell, okay? Some people are like, oh, I'm busy. I'm busy for this. What do you mean you're busy for it? You don't want to make more money? I haven't even told you why I called you. You need to be, okay, a big difference between what other gurus will tell you and between and then me is that I tell you guys to be cocky. I tell you guys to be like a little, a little edgy because you, like I said, you are doing them a favor by helping them out. So make sure that, you know, you understand that, okay? Now, so follow-ups, okay? So follow-up, you know, put it on your Gmail notion, okay? Uh, if you want to get left fancy, use direct contact, lamb list, whatever you want. Okay. Now follow up number one. Okay. Hey, hello again. Put this. Okay. Hey, did you get my last email? And again, this personalized stuff that you sent out last time, send it one more time. Okay. I wanted a time to speak this week. There's, there's no obligation. And at worst, you will get more insights about your business from a different view. Thanks. Okay. That's one. Okay. If they don't res respond back, like, you know, since you have done two outreach and this is your third outreach because we did the intro email, you know, the second email, this is, <coughs> this is probably your third email, right? Now, this email is designed to get people <coughs> people to respond back. I'm sorry, my throat. I've been talking for like 30 minutes. <coughs> so it's called breakup, okay? This is embarrassing. That's your subject line. It's kind of crazy, right? Hey, it's Bob. This is my last email to you. I've attempted to contact you several times because, and you have not responded, okay? It's probably because of two reasons. Either you're not interested in improving your XYZ, social media, making money. You're too busy right now. Can you at least reply back with a corresponding number? That would help me. That's it. That's it. So at this point, you're like emotionally blackmailing them, okay? There's it, okay? Cool. Now, now let's say they respond back to you, right? Now. Before they, before you talk to them, this is your closing client, we have to learn about a few things about pricing and negotiation, okay? So a lot of you guys are underselling yourself, so don't price yourself low. Price yourself times three of what you want to get paid. If you want to get paid a thousand bucks, price yourself at three thousand dollars, okay? Now, why is that? Because that's a price anchoring. It's always easy to lower your price but you cannot up your price hey i'm gonna up my price you can't do that right okay and then what happens is that gives them some sort of room hey you know can i get a discount thing so you have that room to negotiate so you need to go and create a price anchoring by offering you know charging more money okay and you find some customer they'll say okay i'll do it they won't even question you okay most of my clients i deal with i tell them okay 50k without even blinking they'll say okay where do I send the money? How do I send the money? Sent. That's how it works, okay? Now, if you have packages, show your biggest and most expensive package, uh, you know, first, okay? That's the price anchoring again. Now, be willing to reduce your price if they sign up with a contract, okay? Most people don't want contract, but hey, they're like, oh, I want a discount. Just say, hey, can you sign up for a six months commitment period? They say yes, then give them a discount, okay? <clears throat> now, if they do ask you for a discount, don't give it to them so easily, okay? Okay, so if the pricing is the issue, so say, hey, maybe we're not the right fit. You know, maybe it's too expensive for you. Straight up, it's going to hit them right here, okay? Now, if they say, I want a discount, say, okay, I'll give you a discount, but I can't do this much work. I'll do this much, okay? Cut back on the items, okay? Let's go back. Now, let's go and talk about how to close your first client. Okay, so this is like your Zoom call or your meeting. Let's let's go and talk about that. So what I want you to do is, is use something called closer framework. 
And I've actually made a video on this earlier. If you haven't seen it, I'll show you the video. I'll put the video somewhere here for you, okay? But the idea is, you know, let's say, let's say you get on the call with them. You say, okay, we're on this call because we want to go ahead and fix your engagement rate. We're on this call because we're going to go ahead and fix your <coughs> social media post. Make sense? And the second thing is you have to label them with some sort of problem. So we have a problem with ads not running. We have a problem with, you know, your low engagement rate on Instagram. Make sense? So closer. So, oh, so overview of what has not worked in the past. So you have tried this. That's not worked. That's not worked. Okay. Now, the next up sells. You need to go and talk to them about, you know, what's going to happen once they start working with you. Okay. Now, last but not least is, you know, before they even bring up any objections, you know, just, just talk about anything that's on that. That's, you know, the elephant in the room. Just talk about all the objections that they might have. So, for example, I say, you know, my pricing is super, super high because, you know, you know, uh, because, you know, I'm the best. Okay. You're not going to find anyone better than me. And, you know, here is a proof. Okay. I've helped so many people out X, Y, Z, you know, I'm probably on the expense. I've just let them know that, you know, they're going to hear a price that's kind of expensive and expensive. They're thinking like hundred K. And when I say 50 K, oh, I can do that. Okay. See, that makes sense. Last but not least is reinforce them that, Hey, you know, thank themselves for, you know, making the good decision of working with and trusting you. Okay. Now, this is the video that I've created. I'm going to go and put it on here for you, okay? This is the video that you can watch. Um, I'll put it, I'll show it to you. I love... This is a really cool video that I want you to watch, okay? Now, next up is pro tips, okay? Make sure, if when you're on the call with them, make sure to at least get some deposit because, you know, you have a limited customer you can take and you if you want the commitment, they have to go ahead and do a deposit, Okay. If they ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, say, hey, you know, my colleague, let's say they ask me, let's say somebody says, hey, you know, can you tell me about billboard advertising? I'm like, I don't know too, <clears throat> too much about billboard advertising. So I'll say, hey, I'm not an expert on billboard uh, uh, advertising, so I'll get back to you after talking to my partner. So that shows that you are honest and genuine, okay? Now, once you get your customer, a couple of things. So. What you want to do is number one, you want to send out an email saying thank you, right? Woo hoo, like this, and recap of what they're getting, how much they're paying per month, blah blah blah. So they have this, okay. Next day, I want you to send them some sort of ebook, some sort of you know something, video, some sort of training. I send them some softwares, right? Here's a gift blah. So you're just making it good from the day one, okay? Now, next up, you want to go ahead and after 30 days, ask them of five people they can recommend, okay, that you can contact, okay? Upsell. So once you have a customer, upsell them like, you know, on extra stuff. So let's say they hired you for social media management. Maybe you want to upsell them on copywriting, CRO, Facebook ads, okay? And if you want to learn these things, you can go to copywriter.net, Facebook Blueprint, or like, you know, Google. They're, they're, they're going to teach you everything. Okay, so we're done. So I hope you enjoyed this session. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. And if you if you want to see more content just like this, go ahead and hit that red button so I can bring more content just like this on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.